You're talking about that. Let's let's touch a little bit on Xavier Rhodes. He's had a little bit of a frustrating season, especially we saw Monday night football against Seattle. That was a hard, tough game for him. We saw him get passionate on the sidelines as well. What do you think is that he's learned over the last couple couple of weeks? Well, passion is blown up. And what that is, that's frustration. Uh, and, and, you know, it's, it's never said. I mean, he's had some tough injuries the last couple of years. I'm not completely convinced he's back from or maybe in his mind, he doesn't think he's got the same type of closing speed. As fans at home, what you want to look at is you want to see, you know, he's right near the ball. What he's doing is he's waiting for the receiver to catch the ball versus making a play on the ball. What Xavier needs to do is just make a play on the ball, use his natural instincts, go after it. He's got to take some chances, but play smart and not get beat from the line of scrimmage. If it's not Xavier, who's going to have a monster game on the defense today? Well, you got to hope it's it's Daniel Hunter. But it wouldn't surprise me today to see Anthony Barr unleashed on the blitzing game. They haven't done that with him and Kendricks a lot this year. Both are extremely capable. Look for that to put the extra heat so Phillip Rivers doesn't have time to, to throw. And Anthony Barr's back here home in Los Angeles. Both his high school is pretty close to here as well as UCLA. We've got a lot of California kids on this Viking squad. So I think it's going to be a home game for a lot of these guys. No doubt. No doubt. It should be fun for everybody. Absolutely. From uh, Chargers Stadium, sunny California, I'm Katya Dragotis. This is Tom Moore.